This lesson is on coordinate proof. The proofs we're going to do here are going to be very informal proofs. In this problem, it says to circle all of the words that describe quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Be sure to tell and show proof for each. So what we're going to do here is look at this shape and see which of these shapes we think it qualifies as. It's definitely a quadrilateral because it has four sides. It looks like it could be a parallelogram and possibly a rhombus. It's definitely not a square because it doesn't have right angles, and it's definitely not a rectangle because it doesn't have right angles. Now we need to go about showing proof for each of these things. Well, to prove that it's a quadrilateral, all we have to say is ABCD has four sides. And then we want to say therefore, and we could do it with these three dots, it is a quadrilateral. The next thing we're going to try to prove is that it's a parallelogram. The reason we're going to prove parallelogram before we prove rhombus is because if it's not a parallelogram, we know it can't be a rhombus. Well, what do we know about a parallelogram? Well, we know that opposite sides must be parallel. So that's what we need to prove first. We want to prove AB and CD are parallel, and we need to prove BC and AD are parallel. Well, how do we know that lines are parallel? Well, we know lines are parallel if their slopes are the same. So what we're going to need to do is show their slopes. So AB, the easiest way to show slope when we have a coordinate grid is just to look at rise over run. To get from point A to point B, we rise 2 and we run 3. Both of those are in the positive direction, so it has a slope of 2 thirds. For CD, to get from D to C, we rise 2 and run 3, both in the positive direction. So the slopes of both of those lines are 2 thirds. Now we want to show BC and AD. For BC, to get from C to B, we rise 2, but we run 3 in the negative direction. So it's going to be negative 2 thirds. And then for AD, to get from D to A, we rise 2 and we run 3 in the negative direction. So that's negative 2 thirds also. Then we need to make a statement showing what we proved. Once we've proven this, we need to make a statement. So we say ABCD is a parallelogram because AB and CD, or we can say AB is parallel to CD since they both have slopes of two thirds. And then you would say the same thing. Also, BC is parallel to AD because they both have slopes of negative two thirds. And you'd want to be sure and state both of those things. I'm going to erase this so we have space to prove that it's a rhombus. All right. To show it's a rhombus, we need to show that all the sides are equal in measure. So to show rhombus, we need to show AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to AD. Well, if we want to find length, then what we need to use is the distance formula. But since we're on a grid, we can also use the Pythagorean theorem. We see to find AB, we can make this right triangle, and AB is the hypotenuse of our triangle. This leg is 2, and this leg is 3. So to find AB, we just say 2 squared plus 3 squared equals AB squared. So 4 plus 9 is AB squared. 4 plus 9 is 13, and we just want AB, so we take the square root. So AB is equal to the square root of 13. We're going to do the same thing for BC. To find the length of BC, this has a leg of 2 and a leg of 3 and the hypotenuse that we're looking for, so 2 squared plus 
3 squared equals BC squared. We just worked out this same thing, so we know the square, it's the square root of 13 is BC. We're going to do the same thing to prove AD and to prove CD. You can see that to get AD, we're going to use this triangle, which is also a 2 by 3. And this triangle, triangle to get CD is also 2 by 3. And so once we've done that, we've shown all the sides are equal in measure, and we would make a statement. Quadrilateral ABCD is a rhombus because AB, BC, CD, and AD all have a length of the square root of 13. We don't need to get a decimal estimate because all we're trying to do is show that they're equal in measure, and we can do that by comparing square roots.